guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my February favorites, and I actually don't have that much to show to you guys, and I actually mean it this time. I know other months I say that, and it ends up being a totally long video. So, I'm just going to jump into it. So, I'm going to start with fragrance, and the past few weeks, I haven't actually used this all month because it just came out, but... I've been using it for the past two weeks and I absolutely love it. It's the new Victoria's Secret Bombshells in Bloom fragrance. It just came out and can we just have a moment of silence for the packaging? How cute is the packaging? Like, it's adorbs. So, I absolutely love this. If you love the like DKNY Be Delicious perfume, it basically smells almost exactly like that, so, and I'm sure it's like half the price is too, so if you like that scent, you will definitely like this scent, and yeah, I've just been obsessed with it, so that has been a favorite. The other favorite is the nail color that's currently on my nails. This is China Glaze's Aquadelic Nail Polish, and... Okay, my nails are so chipped right now, but this is what the color looks like. Basically, it's true to what's in the bottle. It's just a really pretty blue that is putting me in the mood for spring and summer. So, yeah, those are my fragrance and nail polish favorites of the month. I do also have one makeup tool or applicator to show you guys that I've been obsessed with ever since I got it, and it is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I got mine at Ulta, and I liked it so much that I actually went, ba went back and got a backup. It is so good. Like, it's still damp right now because I did use it, but this is the size it is when it gets big. It does shrink a little bit, but I really like that it has the flat edge here because it makes it a lot easier to blend out face foundation, but then it still has the pointy end, which is really great for under the eyes and concealer. So, basically, this probably has replaced my beauty blender. I absolutely love my beauty blender, but I absolutely do not like the price of it. To me, paying 20 bucks for a sponge is ridiculous, but because of the way it did apply my makeup, I was willing to splurge, and you know, you do get two to three good months out of one. Um, and yeah, but basically, I'm pretty sure this has replaced it. This is just as good to me. I don't see a difference in the application, personally, of how the Beauty Blender applies stuff versus this. So, yeah, and this was like $5.99, so... I will be buying that from now on. So I've been obsessed with that. And since we're on the topic of foundations, I have really still been loving my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. And I love that it has a pump. It is a thicker consistency. So these two together is basically how I've been applying it. And I absolutely love the coverage, the finish everything and this is like a six dollar foundation so I've really been liking this as well as my um, moist and firm BB um, I IPKN New York BB cream <laughs> I don't know how to say that but this came in my ipsy bag this past month and I really like it it is basically a thinner version of the Derma Doctor DD cream, where the DD cream is definitely thicker and has more benefits, but it still gives you like um like it's tinted, so it gives you like coverage and evens everything out. And this is basically like the same thing, except fewer benefits because it's a BB cream but it's also a thinner version. So I've really been liking this. I might end up getting this for like the spring summer months and then using my DD cream in the fall and winter. Um, but basically I apply this under my foundation just so I have a nice 
even base to start out with. So I've really been liking this. And then since we're on the subject of face, I've really actually been liking the L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher. I uh, do have it on today. My foundation goes on nicely. I do see shrinkage in my pores, not as much as like the Benefit Pore Professional, but it does shrink them down. So they are less noticeable. And this is like half the cost of the professional okay it's not half the cost it's ten dollars cheaper but you get m way more product so yeah i've been really liking that now on to eyes so i've really been using my Too faced chocolate bar palette a lot i really like um milk chocolate and salted caramel in the crease I usually apply this with a big fluffy brush and then go more precise in the crease with the milk chocolate and then white chocolate is a great highlight color and if you want to darken the outer corner I've really been liking triple fudge and then on the lid I've been kind of obsessed with marzipan and creme brulee these look gorgeous on the lid with um, these two in the crease, the highlight in the outer corner. So I've been somewhat obsessed with this palette lately. And then eyeliner, I found a new eye liquid eyeliner that I actually like, and I was surprised that I did like it. Um, it's the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. This one's just in black. It has a brush applicator, which is what made me hesitant towards it. I normally don't like brush applicators because it's streaky during application and you have to go back like two or three times. But this one, surprisingly, you don't have to. So I actually really been liking this and it's like a dollar. So been liking that. And then for my brows, which I normally don't feature brow products in my favorite videos, but I've really been liking the Jordana Fabu Brow. Um, to help fill in my areas. I normally go in with my brow powder first and then if there's any like bald spots or anything I'll go in with this um, just to cover those up and add some color. So yeah I've really been liking this and this is in medium brown. And then the last two products I have are both lip products and I'm wearing this combo now and I've been somewhat obsessed with it towards the end of the month. And it's my MAC Lipstick in Rose Lily, which is a really pretty pink. Absolutely love it. And layered over top, I've been using my NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. And I just love the combo. It gives a gorgeous pink lip. Like, I am obsessed. So yeah, that is basically all my favorites from February. Like I said, I didn't have a lot. And I think I actually meant it this time. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below if you have any questions. Or if you love the same products that I've shown. Or yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.